All right, guys, welcome back to the Tush Mahal. It's uh, Monday, the 23rd of April, and just about 10.30 in the morning. Got the day off today. It's a makeup day for uh, working last weekend in Montreal, so it's a good thing I at least get to make my days up. So uh, just unpack the truck with the uh, items I picked up from the uh, flea market yesterday. Uh, some of these are not for me. The windscreen's not for me. It's for another Triumph TR6 owner who's got a rusty windscreen frame, so he's coming to pick that up tonight. I've got the, uh, picked up the bumper for my uh, TR4, my 62 TR4 project uh, that I purchased from the owner. The owner had the bumper in storage, so he just dropped that off to me yesterday as he was at the flea market as well. And the only other thing I picked up, which is uh, for the 250 project, and I'll unpack that shortly in this box here, is the Herald Grill. I've got a used Herald Grill, which will be the inserts for the uh, vents for uh, these guys. So the Herald Grill um, works in these rally vent openings. That's what they used originally on the Works rally cars. The TR4 rally cars had the Herald Grills in that space. So we're going to do the same thing, hopefully. Hey, we'll uh, unpack those. I'm curious to see what a Herald Grill looks like up close and personal. So uh, it will do that. We've got a bit more uh, cleaning and organizing to do it here. I've got to find some uh, spots for these parts that are just lying on the ground before I get back to uh, playing around with the 250. So we'll do that and uh, then we'll get on with the day. All right, guys, we've unpacked the Herald Grill and it's kind of cute. Wonder if Cutword might need this. Anyway, let me know, Stevie. If you need it's not in the greatest of shape, but uh, I'm not sure if you've got yours on your grill at all. So let me know if you might need that, and I'll send that down to you. I'm not going to need that. So uh, it looks not too bad. Obviously, it's used. But what we want to do, and I just got one of the vents out, and I wanted to make sure that we could get enough material out of this. So and it's just going to fit, which is good. So get a little extra to. Because my understanding is they sort of have to bend the edges up to fasten it, like pop rivet to the inside of the vent. So it's going to look something like that. Obviously, this screen is going to be closer to the uh, to the fender side, which is this side. This is the flange side that comes through the body tub or through the engine bay side. So it's just going to be inset a little bit um, from the fender side. So that's kind of what that grill is going to look like. We may give it a quick uh, coat of uh, silver paint. But uh, we'll see, or we might even powder coat it. We'll see when we get there. But uh, so, I'll give you a quick look of that uh, Herald Grill and what the intentions for it are. That's it for now. Have I mentioned how nice it is to have the garage doors open? I know I haven't mentioned it today. <laughs> now we just need to get rid of this snow. We got a little mini glacier outside my door here that we're trying to get rid of. It doesn't get any sun over here. And we got a little bit on the driveway to get rid of. Hopefully that'll go today. It's supposed to be about 15 degrees today, which is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So a little pile there. And a uh, little pile up by my front step. And that'll be the end of it, hopefully. Hopefully we don't get any more snow. If we do, I'm going to scream. All right, I think it's about time to get the uh, body back on the frame. So we're going to endeavor to do that uh, for the rest of the morning. So it's going to be a little tricky for space in here to be able to get the uh, the crane out, lift the body, tip the frame over, get it up on sands, put the body on, etc. But it's got to be done. So uh, we'll go ahead and start the process by digging up the uh, engine hoist, and uh, we'll get the um, lifting uh, ropes hooked back up where they need to be, and uh, we'll get it ready to lift it and remove those bucks.
Alright guys, part one is done successfully without any damage. So uh, it's looking good, sitting square on the frame. All the holes are lining up, which is good. So the next step is to take those wooden bucks off. And then maybe we'll start fitting some panels back up. And that will probably be the final fitment before we send it out to blasting. We'll make any final welding repairs to panels. Um, I know there's a little bit over here I'm going to fix for this uh, bulkhead sealer plate. I cut off a little bottom piece here. I've got to weld that back in. But uh, I think we'll bolt those panels back on and see how we do. I'm actually going to get the hinges out for the hood and the, uh, and the trunk, front and rear, and make sure the hood fits properly. So uh, yeah, it's looking good. So we'll take those wooden bucks off and we'll continue on. Okay, the wood uh, rotisserie is now off the car and stored away just over there. We've bagged up the, uh, the bolts there and uh, we'll use them again. When we uh, get the car back from blasting, we'll probably put it back on the rotisserie to be able to uh, spray the bottom of the car and uh, do a little bit of body work down there. They're not going to go crazy, but uh, anyway, we're going to do the bottom of this car in probably Raptor liner after we epoxy prime it. So that's the plan for the bottom of the car. The inner fenders or inner wheel tubs are also going to be um, probably Raptor line black. Um, I like the blackout look on the wheel well, so I think we're going to do that as well as the inner fenders and inside the fenders themselves are going to be also Raptor linered. So did that on my TR6. That stuff is pretty impervious. It uh, cleans up nicely as well. It lasts quite a long time. So. I don't have any qualms about doing that on the TR250 as well. I didn't Raptor line the bottom of my TR6, I actually painted it body color, but I think this uh, car will benefit it from actually having some Raptor liner on the bottom. Must be spring, bikes are out. Anyway, uh, we're going to get to uh, collecting up all the fasteners. I think what I'm going to do actually is go inside and get my uh, body fastener kit out of its uh, storage location and we're going to actually bolt the body to the chassis. Uh, in a couple locations um, after I put the shims back in because I've got the rubber shims out off of the uh, out uh, outriggers so we're going to put those back in bolt up the uh, body tub to the frame and then we're going to start fitting some panels up all right that's the plan I have to admit I'm getting a little distracted I'm looking for the hinges for the bonnet and I'm going through all my bins and as I'm going through my bins I'm sort of taking an in inventory of things I need to do so this is the engine uh, parts bin so I was having a look at my valve while I was in there and of course I found the engine mounts that need to be painted the timing cover needs to be painted so I'm just sort of going through the bins and making a list of items that I need to do I'm kind of looking for small projects to do as well I mean it's uh, if I can get out here an hour or two at night something like a timing cover stripping a timing cover and renewing the seal for uh, repainting and renewing the seal for example can be a good uh, two-hour project so I'm just kind of keeping a list of things that still need to be done on the car if I don't necessarily want to work uh, hard and heavy on the body tub, I can always have a small project to work on as well. Anyway, so I'm just going to go through the bins that I have stacked over against the wall there. I've gone through this one already. I've got one here. And uh, I've got these bins to go through here. Two, four, five, six, seven bins over here, which are all TR250 parts, I think. The other thing I need to do is I need to find the trailing arm brackets because I want to bolt the one trailing arm up. Uh, actually, I'm going to probably bolt both trailing arms up because I want to make sure that I have this located in the right spot for the bump stop for the trailing arm. I haven't welded that fully. It's only tacked in there. And the reason it isn't welded is I wanted to make sure that uh, as the trailing arm travels up, I want to make sure that the bump stop is actually hitting square in the bottom of that uh, stop there that's welded to the uh, body tub. So. That's what I'm looking for as well. So we'll get back at it. But uh, I'm kind of having fun going through the boxes. I haven't been through them for quite a few months. So, but it's distracting. All right, we found the parts that we're looking for. So we're now moving on to uh, getting the panels back on the car. So uh, we're just about to uh, start moving panels around. We're gonna work on the driver's side first and then we'll pick it up on the uh, passenger side. All right guys, just coming up to about 7 p.m. and uh, we're just about to call it an evening. We're going to uh, go in and have some dinner and uh, get ready for work tomorrow. Um, we've got most of the panels on. I don't have the hood on yet, but uh, it's just sitting there against the wall. I have a few more bolts to do on the uh, passenger side at the uh, lower sills. Those are not done, uh, nor is the rear of the uh, fender 
attached to the rear valence on the passenger side. We've got it done up on the driver's side and it looks good. Seems to be fitting pretty well. So I've got, uh, I've just popped the windscreen on that the gentleman's coming to pick up tonight. So uh, anyway, the door, door gaps doesn't look too bad. The front fender gap looks pretty good. And the front uh, valence gap looks very good. I'm happy with that. So, yeah, it's looking better. I'm eager to get to the uh, actual bodywork uh, stage with this project. Once we get it into uh, epoxy primer, that'll be the next thing we do. We'll have to bolt all these panels, get back up again, and uh, we'll do the bodywork with the panels on the car to work on some of the gaps in a little bit more detail. So we should be able to get it to look a little bit better than this. But I think it's definitely looking better. It's going in the right direction. Looking better than uh, what it looked like when I took it apart. So, Alright, that's it for tonight, guys. We'll uh, hopefully get back out here tomorrow after work. Have a good night.